Hey guys, it's Doug Nelly here. Welcome back to the channel. Super excited about the month of April. I am participating in the uh, VEDA Challenge, the SSS VEDA Challenge. Savvy, sexy social with my friend Amy Schmidtower. Uh, and she has challenged us all to vlog every day in April. V-E-D-A, VEDA. So, um... I'm a day behind, uploaded one this morning, and now here is part two. My brother and I do some WrestleMania predictions uh, for today's big WrestleMania, the big show, the ultimate thrill ride. I uh, hope you enjoy this Facebook Live we filmed earlier today. Hello, Hello. and welcome to uh, our WrestleMania predictions. I am Doug. I'm joined by Chris Neville. My brother Chris. It's good to see everybody. Uh, no one live just yet. It's totally fine. We are just uh, just under two two hours away. No, we're actually under three hours away because that says two hours and fifty three minutes. So three hours away from uh, WrestleMania here in Orlando, and we. We're not there. We're not there. Um, we are at home where we're going to be watching on our big old green TV, uh, WrestleMania 33, that will be actually in the... Citrus Bowl. Well, it's the Citrus Bowl, but they're also calling it the Camping World Arena or something like that. It's downtown. Um, so, let's dive into it. Let's dive into predictions for WrestleMania 33. We have the WWE Cruiserweight Championship... Uh, Neville, who is the current champion, versus Austin Aries. Chris? Know nothing about those two, but I like Neville. You like Neville. Why do you like Neville? Because he's my last name. Because he has our last name. That is that is a solid reason to like Neville. Uh, um, women's Championship? SmackDown Women's Championship. Uh, looks like we've got Mickie James, Natalia. Alexa, Alexa Bliss. Bliss has the belt. Becky Lynch, Carmella. Uh, Naomi, and then of course there are so, so, supposedly there are a few surprises uh, happening as well. We don't know for sure. Uh, officially, um, it is Alexa Bliss versus every eligible female on the roster. So you're stuck. You're sticking with Alexa Bliss. Yeah. Okay. All right. You're sticking with Alexa Bliss. I uh, I don't know. Uh, I feel like it could go any which way. Um, uh, I feel like Natalia is owed it. I think Natalia is owed the championship. I also think Mickey James could could pull this one out. So Raw, Raw Tag Team Championship: Gallows, Gallows and Anderson, Enzo and Cass, and Cesaro and Sheamus. Who's your prediction there, my friend? Enzo Cass. And why? Why do you think it's they're that? my favorites? <laughs> they're just my favorites. They're your favorite to win? Yeah. Uh, I, you I know like what? those guys. It's been a year for them. I think they could pull it out. I think it is... I think it's their time. I think it's their time, too. Their time. I think um, if they were to win, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, if Gallows and Anderson win, I also wouldn't be surprised with them. Um, I love, it's also a ladder match. So oh, it's a ladder it, match. It makes it even more better. It makes, makes it more better. It makes it more interesting. It's more interesting. Definitely, definitely. Ladder matches at WrestleMania... Always, always a good time, and especially the Money in the Bank match at 24, 23, and 21, and of course WrestleMania and 10. 22 and 23, 24, and of course 25. WrestleMania 10. Shawn Michaels versus Razor Ramon was intense. Well, that was the the one of the first. That was the very first ladder match at WrestleMania. Ladder match. Um, Intercontinental Championship: Dean Ambrose versus Baron Corbin on three. One, two, three. Baron, Dean Ambrose. Baron Corbin. <laughs> Really? Baron Corbin, I think it's this time. You think da Baron Corbin's gonna gonna beat up Dean Ambrose? Um, Lunatic Lunatic Fringe is gonna lose it this time. The Lunatic Fringe is, fringe is gonna lose. He's gonna really? Lose. He's gonna lose. You're not. <laughs> John Cena. I can't believe I'm actually gonna read this. John Cena and Nikki Bella versus The Miz and Maurice on three. One, two, three. The Miz. John Cena and Nikki. Really? The Miz and The Miz and Maurice. The Miz and Maurice are gonna beat Nikki Bella yeah. and John Cena. Yeah. I do think that it's possible that Ms. Maurice could win, but not before John Cena and Nikki beat the crap out of them. It'll be a good match. But I think it will be a be total a, beat down. It will be a, a surprise skull, a skull crushing finale out of nowhere on somebody. Okay, so United States Championship match, Chris Jericho versus Kevin Owens on three. One, two, three. Chris Kevin Jericho. Owens. Man, a lot. Because Chris Jericho is going back on tour, and you must drop the belt if you're leaving. Well, then, if you're, okay, so must drop your belt if you're leaving, but doesn't that, wouldn't that warrant a part-timer not being champion? 
No. That's different. A part, should, a, should a part-timer... Thank you, Chris Jericho. Is Chris Jericho a part-timer? Well, no, no, he's been around for the past year. He, he was supposed to be, but he kept extending his contract. Jack says KO. A lot of discussion happening on this. Uh, now, here's the thing. I honestly do think Kevin Owens will win, which is not what I want. If it, what will happen and what I want to happen are two different things. I want Chris Jericho to win. Uh, I think he should win. However, I do agree with Jack and with you to a certain extent that Kevin Owens will probably win. Raw, we are now up to the Raw Women's Championship between Bailey, Charlotte Flair, Sasha Banks, and Nia Jax. Fatal four-way elimination match, which means once someone is pinned, they have to remove themselves from the match. Uh, and the match continues until we are down to two and have a winner. Chris, on three. One, two, three. Charlotte Bailey. Flair. All right. Charlotte Flair. You think Charlotte's going to win? I'm a firm believer. I'm a firm believer. I'm tired of Charlotte, but she's going to win. See, and that's exactly why I think Bailey is going to win. They've already look, look. They already stopped Charlotte's pay-per-view streak, winning streak. Bailey is a fan favorite. Bailey is the epitome of fan. She is the fan that be, has become champion, right? Oh, that's a, that is a good point, Daniel. Sasha could screw over Bailey. That's that that could happen. I I, I still think I think Bailey I think Bailey's gonna win. Uh, that's I I'm probably wrong, but I think Bailey will win. And you're firmly for, for Charlotte. Sure. Right. Shane McMahon versus AJ Styles. One, two, three. AJ, AJ Styles. Styles. There you go. Uh, well, yeah, of course Shane is going to do something crazy. That's 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 a given. However, though, I will say this: it is interesting that there's no stipulation with this match. Like it is, it is, it is straight, at the it moment it's straight. a regular match. Yeah. I feel like that could change. I feel but, like we'll get a Teddy Long moment. He'll be like, "It's a no holds barred." Seth Rollins and Triple H on three, one, two, three. Triple Seth H. Rollins. Triple H is the game. He's the head of the company. He's got everything going going on for him. Seth Rollins, he's making a mistake going on going into this match with his knee. Seth Rollins is gonna win. There's no, and I don't you know what. I don't even have a debate for that. I don't even have. I don't have like. Oh well, ba ba ba. Seth Rollins. This match, bet, bet, the match between Seth Rollins and Triple H has been building for over a year. The Universal Championship between Goldberg and Brock Lesnar. On three. One, two, three. No idea. I don't care. No idea. I don't care. No. This, I feel like it's 13 years ago and we're watching WrestleMania 20 and it's Brock and Goldberg and I, I don't, it doesn't matter to me. Um, the, oh well, we'll just do this. The WWE Championship. Um, Bray Wyatt versus Randy Orton. And on three, one, two, three, Bray Randy Wyatt. Orton. Randy Orton. Randy Orton. You think Randy Orton's going to take Randy the Orton. belt? Why Randy Orton? Because he's a, he's a fan favorite. Everybody loves Orton. And he deserves to be champion. Again, in Orlando. Because mm -hmm. he took, he won that triple threat match between Triple H and Cena at WrestleMania 24 that we were at. And That's a good point. I think two for two in Orlando for Orton. Let's review them one more time. Uh, Bray and Orton. Orton. Bray. Goldberg, Brock. Don't care. Don't care either, but I'll think Brock will win. Seth, um, Seth Triple H. Triple H. Seth Rollins. Under oh, we missed one. We missed this one. We did not discuss this. We didn't, we didn't discuss we skipped. We skipped over this one. So, um, here we go. Undertaker. Undertaker versus Roman Reigns. And you think it'll be... Undertaker. Undertaker. Uh, I, I think it'll be Undertaker as well. I do think Taker will win this one. Um, I would love to see Roman win it. Again, it's a, it's a tough one. I care a lot about it. It's not that I, you know, it's not, I'm not, not picking There's a winner. There's going to be a lot of near falls in this one. I think it'll be a close match. I think it'll be a nail-biter. I think um, if Roman does win, it will end abruptly like the Brock Taker match did and everyone will be shocked and awe and there'll be angry people and riots in the streets here in Orlando. <laughs> um, Taker loses the room and finally turns. So 
interesting comment. I don't, I don't think he's ever going to turn. I, I think Roman is sort of their next John. And when I say John, I mean Cena. And he said this in an interview, which I thought was... I said this to you yesterday. So, Jack, um, Roman will never turn heel because um, if he turns heel, does that satisfy all the people who hate him? No, it doesn't. It just kind of it would either make you hate him more or it's not going to make you cheer for him if he turns heel, right? Well, I think that's the whole point. If he, yeah. if, he, if he turns heel, you're like, oh, all the boos will turn to cheers. I don't... Or will they remain boos? Um, yeah, he's a lot Yeah, of exactly. Hate. But Cena's part-time now. Cena's part-time now, so they need someone else to take over that gimmick. And I think that's what we're doing with Roman. Roman is the, if you love him, you love him. You hate him, you hate him. Yeah. And he doesn't care because you're still making noise for him. And he's still, and which is crazy. He's, I, I, and I agree, with the, I agree with the ram down the throat thing. Like, it's getting a bit much. Especially if they end the show with Taker Roman. This would be the third year that Roman is the main event. Eh, I don't. I. I don't. I don't want that. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching WrestleMania, enjoy. If you're watching this in the replay, hope you enjoyed our predictions and the small discussion we've had about wrestling. Uh, maybe we'll start our own little wrestling podcast. Maybe. Who knows? Or we'll weekly, we, weekly wrestling recap. Thank you so much. Enjoy WrestleMania, enjoy guys. WrestleMania. Have a wonderful night. I love you. Uh, go to YouTube. Subscribe. Keep watching videos. Check out my lives and all other stuff. I'm just going to throw my hands around. Have a good night, guys. Bye. Bye.